Okay, ladies and gents, what we're going to do, we're going to look at this HID high-intensity discharge lamp warming up, and we're going to watch the uh, power uh, change as the uh, lamp warms up. It's got quite an interesting sort of behaviour, and you can see the actual uh, fluctuations in current change <coughs> with visible fluctuations in the appearance and the colour of the light. So, standard HID lamp, 150 watts nominal, connected via into this extension leader which is part of my meter. There's no power factor correction capacitor in that. You can watch the other video to see what happened to that one. Uh, so you'll see a very poor power factor on this lamp. So here we go. We're just going to start any second now. The lamp's ignited and it's giving this sort of slightly yellowy, creamy green colour just as it gets going. It's drawing not terribly much power at the moment, 90 odd watts, 100 watts or so, but has a very, very poor power factor indeed. And this is because the lamp itself is virtually a short circuit. There's very low voltage across it, and the majority of the impedance in the circuit is the reactive impedance of the magnetic ballast, and therefore there's a very poor power transfer. Now, as the lamp warms up, you get better vaporization of the various salts uh, inside the lamp and the pressure builds up and the resistance of the arc increases and as the resistance increases so the amount of energy dissipated in the arc increases the current drops, the power goes up, power factor improves. So now it's sort of reached its sort of first sort of stabilization point. It's giving a sort of relatively slightly green colored light, um, not particularly flickery, but certain colours look wrong. Skin tones look of a sort of rather deathly greenish pale colour. Purples and blues are severely distorted. Now over the next minute or so, what's probably going to happen is the current is going to increase slightly and uh, it'll reach its final stabilisation point. And it's probably reached it just about now. And as you, the colour now, I oh know it's not shown very well here, is just about right. Beautiful daylight colour has been reached, and operating power has been reached at about 165 watts, which, which works out at about roughly uh, 10 watts or so loss in the ballast, and about 155 watts in the lamp. So there we go.